uh, we've, we're coming straight back with The Walking Dead. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We literally just did episode three. We're hopping in right with episode four. I will be back. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. And then I will come back. So, don't wait up for me. Oh my god, it shuffled all my fucking windows around. God damn it. Yeah, if you're watching this on the video, just skip ahead a couple minutes. Oh boy. I really don't want to play these next two episodes. <laughs> I, I would much rather be playing anything else. Literally anything else. There we go. I'll be back.
Hello. I return. I have a Snickers bar. Shouldn't say that word. Wait a second. I intentionally went out of my way not to say this word yesterday. Oh, I haven't had one of these in almost a year. Probably a year. Because of my dietary shit with all my gastro issues. <sighs> so I'm gonna eat a Snickers and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm with the ruins. Let's go. This is fucking cold. This will break my teeth. The real wood. I know. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Get me! Get me! When you cover yourself in their smell, you have the walk of guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Play this episode. <laughs> Come. Ah! Also, they reused the woman's scream from season one, episode three. No, 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 you can fuck right off, cunt. Ah! Now chop this guy's arm off and all. It's such a wasted potential, though. Like, they could have had Sarita stay alive. It's so annoying the way they handled it. It would have been really interesting to have a victim in our group who, who was, like, saved. It's such a waste of, of potential. They only made it for the drama with Kenny. Man, that's bullshit, Savant. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. Maybe it was one of your asses. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca, it's not what you think. I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Nobody's with me, but keep moving. We can't stay here, Rebecca. 
Like, the only reason I don't want to play this is because I do not want to have to deal with Kenny. I'm fucking terrified. We can clear back to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? There. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Ah! Jane! Jane! Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Just we can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Just Your move, choice. you idiots. Fucking go. <laughs> Through that cluster of walkers, they're so pity. We'll make a cow catcher. Okay, just tell me what to do. There, that one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. It's so later. Hey, ma excuse me, ma'am. Not gonna bite anybody now, are you? Follow me. Stay close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Stay close. Be careful, not to stray. What's the reason? Why are there so many zombies? Pay attention to Clementine. I'm going as fast as I can. Stop the redness. We made it. Got a zombie dick taste. Let's I don't know, go. I'll have to ask my brother. You had sex with a dead guy. Why do I talk? It's not even funny. I meet the ruins. Let's go, gang. JD Petty? Wait, JT Petty wrote this? What? What the fuck? What did JT Petty have to do with this? No, he didn't fuck a dead person. Obviously, you dipshit. Oh, my brother had sex with a dead person once. No? What? St <laughs> we can stop for a moment if. You need to. No. No. I, I can rest when we're with the others. You wait. I can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? We'll find them, dipship. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Clementine, you're things, not like breathing that. the right I way. <laughs> You gotta use all of your lungs, all four of them. What if the herd is still following? Like this, you gotta go. Quiet, but who knows? How was that? I'm interrupting. I'm interrupting the challenging drama. We'll watch out for each other, so long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Yeah, let's move. I'm going as fast as I can. Good enough, thank you. God, you're so fat. Maybe if you weren't so fat. Glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. He's dead. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked.
Ah! So I was eating this, I didn't want you hearing me. Um, the, the baby probably wouldn't become a zombie. Maybe. Has there been a, a zombie baby in Walking Dead at all? It'd be kind of fucked up. <laughs> just as a zombie baby, the character just jumps on it to kill it. Just whoop! <laughs> Oof. Kid did become one. Yeah, there's been a bunch of kid zombies in Walking Dead stuff. And a bunch of kids getting bitten and killed and shit. Um. Which is awful. Awful fucking thing. But yeah, they had a, they had a bunch of supplies and resources. They could have lived there, but it was kind of you know dictatorial. Is that a word? And I don't know. <laughs> Complex and challenging drama. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? Was... No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. Wait, she's pregnant? I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. I like Jane up until the very end. <laughs> I'd fuck the shit out of Jane. Here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. Yeah, I don't know if you got it, Savant. If you missed it, or if you caught it in time. But this episode, stu end the last episode ended off with Kenny's girlfriend getting bitten by a zombie and I cut her arm off. And then she instantly fucking died and turned into a zombie in front of Kenny. So I axed her in the fucking head and he, he is not handling it very well. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just... Making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah. And? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless and you can't protect it. She is right. I assume I won't be capable enough. You won't be. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You weren't you getting don't... it, Rebecca. Why would you, you say that? Right. Jane! Jane brings she up a fucking mean... good point. Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry your sister's dead. Oh. <laughs> you like Rebecca more? Rebecca's a bitch. We can't just sit here doing nothing. It's Bonnie and Mike. No, they'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to Pregnant worry. Pregnant no crew else coming it. through. Well, besides. Oh my god. I now, hopefully, we can figure out a plan. Rebecca might have the baby soon. She needs someplace safe to, to do that. <laughs> oh no. Soon? Soon? It's what it seems like. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon <clears throat> as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. Yeah, he does. It's one of the reasons I'm I... nervous to even go near him. 
Like, this is why I killed Serena, because it doesn't matter. He lost his kid, his wife. I, I filled Stefan in last night on all of the Walking Dead stuff. He was patient and he listened to me for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Bless him. Kenny. Oh, man. Two hour. Okay. We were on call for like four hours. Oof. What? You think he's going to shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. But yeah, no, sorry to keep pausing, but um, yeah, that's the reason I killed Zarina. It's because no matter what happens, Kenny is super mad at you any anyway, so I may as well have just made it worse, you know? Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just, he's not thinking straight. Somebody's got to do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Doesn't make it right. Even though that was the right thing to do, Sarita just... I should have asked her. I should have asked her. Sarita, <laughs> God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. But Kenny just seems like he wants Sarita to, to say he has someone. Rather than because he actually truly loved her. Consent is important, not on the zombie apocalypse though. <laughs> Sarita, are you okay? Do you want me to cut your arm off? <laughs> Oh my god, do something! <laughs> I'm gonna cut your arm off, is that okay? G uh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Don't fall over and get killed. Clementine, no! Like, I don't know, what do you do in this scenario? I don't know. But, Kenny just seems kind of selfish here. Like, he cares more about himself not being alone than him actually losing Sarita. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? How do you think it went, bitch? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now. None of you are doing anything! It's a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Yeah, do just something! make sure you're ready to move when we get here. And Rebecca, shut the fuck up. Jane actually does care a little bit. Dozy cow. Just because you're nine months fat doesn't give you the right to be a bitch. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to. I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Oh, what 
what would happen if a, just a pregnant woman just like who's like the the day that she's giving labor what would happen if she just would the body still like go through with everything no the baby probably wouldn't live but like everything would be sort of like primed primed and ready for extraction <laughs> Yeah. Well, the baby m might still die during the birth, but... I don't know if, if it was like hours before the contractions and stuff started, Look, would the body still go I'm forward? I'm level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So... I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you? You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's yeah, nobody to probably. watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but... A walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Never understood the name Jamie being a girl's name. A unisex name. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? Take care, Simone. And Max, you. Yeah. You know, being a big sister is... Well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys. Make fun of her bad haircut. Give her the bad haircut. On purpose. <laughs> I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. I knew Max. He was a right. Every summer we'd go to this amusement park Funny in Virginia. Musician. But the best part wasn't the rides. A big it personality. Was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. These walkers got some good stuff. What did you? What, are you sure? I won't. Get, what tipped you? What, what tipped you off? That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? You don't know that. They could have been look. alive. Old walkers. Like months ago. Time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. No, look, we're checking the pockets now. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better.
John Sandusky. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's <laughs> it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> yeah. Pretty much. Can never be too sure with these things. Clever. Here, give me a hand. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to queue. I'm queuing. Oh, oh I queued all over the place. Oh no. Sarah has become a pile of glasses. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't think she's dead. All we know is that she was here. She's it not my friend. It would be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Oh, don't worry, I'm not. Look, Clem. I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah, uh, Sarah! <sighs> God damn! We heard her from all the way back there. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. If Nick is still alive and you didn't get him killed in episode Look, two, we're gonna go do this, this is where you find him. It might him. not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? I think I am. Yes. I hope so. They might not be dead. But that might be worse. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. I always like this one. Just calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. I like this bit, yeah. Oh my god, it's How late. You get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Okay, Mom. Get away! <laughs> get away! Can I look at his knee? No? <laughs> Nice work. You know what you're doing. Yeah. Now watch this. Got a nice wow. little addition to your arsenal. No. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Glad you're paying attention. Come on. I'm on a search. Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's Leave worth taking alone. a look when it's not too risky. Oh, five minutes ago it was fucking most of them will have something on Let's them. Go. Now it's not now it's the opposite. In the red corner. Nice. You did anything. Nice trick, huh? Damn it. Fuck. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side. We can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. 
What did I do, Sarah? What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? Why are you being like this? This. I got you covered. Ben's over. Ha ha. Laugh. Please. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> he bites her. She bites him. Beep, beep. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Don't play really bad to you. I'm gonna pick up the one of the walkers. Oh, he's gonna slump his body over. What are you thinking? Put him on the horn. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. I like people biting Just moves. like moths to a flame. No, no, no. Give me a hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> The door's locked. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Me. Come on. Crap. We gotta move it. Try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Hurry! I kicked it all down once. Help me block this. Hurry! Someone, someone, sorry, someone's making a bunch of noise. Could a person not stay behind and bang the trash can for constant noise? Maybe, I don't know. I have returned. It's queue time. I'm queuing. Oh. <laughs> Me when I go to the Wait. supermarket. Who's out there? Luke! It's me, it's Kenny. Oh, thank God. I can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and... I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. How were you injured? Were you shot, Luke? I just kind of gloss over it. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't we can't we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I'm Carver. No, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh. They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, 
It's me. It's me. Your dad. Hi. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. I hate that I've lost so many people. But it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you. But you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. <gasps> Crap, we're surrounded. <laughs> What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs! We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two. Three! up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. We've took media too far as a human race. Oh my fucking god. This should never have been greenlit. I am a Christian mum now. I have been a Christian mum for the last like two years when it comes to gore and death and violence in video games. I think we've gone way too fucking far these last couple decades. Getting better and better at, at graphically at realising it. Getting better and better at replicating it with, with visual effects and, and props and, and fake blood and, and makeup in, me in physical media. I despise it. I fucking despise it. Why do we make this for entertainment? Why, what is wrong with us as a species? Why do we do this? Why do we seek to create these awful, awful, truly upsetting experiences for no good fucking reason? What is wrong with these people? Why would you want to make this? Come on. Oh, it's just a video game. No, you don't get to say that anymore. That is not an excuse anymore. It's sick. It's fucked up. 
I'm glad she said that. She's kind of annoying. <laughs> About Sarah, I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. You left her too. I know. I know. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. Yeah. yeah. I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. Yeah. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. Yeah, I, I blame you, Luke. <laughs> something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. No, <laughs> funny. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. A goddamn carrier if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane. I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. You did. Come on, we. let's get back to your friends. And yes, PJ, I know. I've played this whole thing. I'm trying not to keep... I'm trying not to, like, give direct spoilers for any people who haven't watched it. So. Son of a bitch. You found them! I did, and I have to go turn my light on, because my green screen will stop working soon. I need to go to the store tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. I do. Wait, where's Sarah? <sighs> she didn't make it. How about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I 
don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> I didn't make any dinner because it's too hot. It's like 30 degrees today. So I'm just going to eat little snacks. We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja, Sarita, no peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Kenny, you're not, you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Well, he didn't, and you're still alive, whether you like it or not. Oh, you're right. I guess I should be celebrating, huh? I'd throw a party, except my guest list is looking a little thin these days. I'm just worried about you. I don't want you to stay in here all alone. I need you. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should see what's going on. Kind of tempted to play episode 5 tonight as well, just to get it all over and done with. Rather than have it on, weighing on my fucking, weighing on me all day tomorrow. I know you won't be awake for it, PJ. Because it'll be another, like, two hours we'd have finished it. But I'm really tempted to just finish it all off. I don't know if I can do it on my own, though, so maybe it's probably better to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Whew. Hmm. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? It would be a long time. All right. Because remember, we still have like 40 minutes of this episode left, and then we have like two hours, or an hour and a half of the next episode, so... I don't know, I don't want to force you to stay awake and be depressed with me, but I don't think I can do it on my own. We could just wait until tomorrow. We could... So, I mean, I'm not... I'm not fast. All right, give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now uh -huh. you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. No one went and looked at them while we were gone? The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, 
Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Oh. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Go Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. And let's play Fortnite. Victory Royale. Wow, it's the visitor center. <clears throat> the Walking Dead Season 4 features a new over-the-shoulder camera perspective for the franchise. There she is. <laughs> Why do I still have a glasses? That's a good point. I don't know. Oh, hey. It's just another loose thread. The season Season 2 is just not written very well. And there's loose threads and forgotten things everywhere. And the, the stitching at the seams is awful. It's a lot more linear and lazier than season one. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I, I could be the sister you'd never got. I will be your replacement. Her replacement. You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. <laughs> you are not getting one. God, you people have, have only hit the iceberg. You're at the tip. You'll make your way down. Everybody does eventually. <sighs> Check this out. This gate's still locked. What a it shitty week, huh? Hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Rebecca could have could the baby in there. there. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Captain, it's Wednesday. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The Oblivion minigame. Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. What rhymes with bigger? <laughs> say it with me now. Don't say it. Hi, Jane. I hope we find something good in there. Well, not impossible. But don't <laughs> count on it. Find anything? No. Not even trash. You barely looked. I was born in 1863. That's when my mama had me. She squatted over the bowl and I, f I came right out. That's right. I've been alive for uh, 150 years. 160 years. 
I'm 160 years old. This is Rama Lama Law. Yeah, Omid and, uh, Omid and Lee would have creamed because all over this. Broken. They loved fucking Civil War history. Pretty sure there's a thing about it. There's a choice where she brings it up. Ow! Shit! Are, Are you okay? okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Look for these nuts. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they fell in with cement, so they're safe. Actually, they fill them with human people. There's some buildings across the river. I town. think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. Season one melody. Who knows if he has friends nearby? Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. It's an ice cream, man. It's because it's still sunny hey. as fuck outside. Hey, man. Oh. I'm just a kid. Please don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <sighs> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You duck. Clementine, hurry. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, Ibadidi. we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clem... She's not I'm ill. Sorry, Arvo. We need these. 
Will Fish, you hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. We robbed these poor kids. Did he some stupid kid stuff. Like a bandit. I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? <laughs> Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. I think she has a different line depending on if you've been violent up until that point. I don't know. I could be wrong. But like at this point, Clementine, dis does she really- she probably does? I mean, we watched Carver get his fucking eyeballs ripped out. She just gladly stayed and watched that. She's the little psychopath. Clem! Clem, hey! Luke! Any luck with that observation Just dick? don't have sex with Jane while we're I was gone. Just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. Please. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but we Jane someone. seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously. You stole meds from somebody. Rebecca needs them. I know, but where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? You didn't yeah. know me before. I haven't changed at all. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. I like Jane a lot. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Use a condom. Do it. Just a crisp packet, anything. <laughs> I'm British, so I resort to crisp packets. It's what I do when my stash runs out. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame them. I can't blame I'm them at all. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. I was two weeks early. Clementine. What'd you find? I turned out okay. <laughs> observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Yeah. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? <laughs> I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. Don't rope me in with I you, though. Hey. 
We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust them. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Are you okay, Kenny? Ooh. Sure. Ooh. Why wouldn't I be? Are you sure, Kenny? I killed your girlfriend. Oops. Rebecca, I have pill. Jane and I found some medicine. Is it safe for Rebecca to take? Mm. Well, should make her more comfortable anyway. Clementine, you are my favorite person in the entire world. Good. Eat up, bitch. I'm going How to explode in three seconds. Hoping those pills kick in soon. I knew it was gonna hurt, Clem. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Elvin's got such a big cock. He nearly split me in two, Clementine. I nearly died. Oh my god. They're not suspicious. You are not nice people. My Marvel. Uh, I was not a Russian name. Hey, Clem. It's a Finnish name. I thought you. This just sounds more Finnish than Russian. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. But I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Season one music, man. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. <laughs> hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. I can't believe you would have put me in this thing. Get off me. You think maybe they say that stuff about water we and would blankets have loved just this to get place. people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. We would have loved this place. Do you see anything good? Not so far. But let's give the place a good going over. You guys have been here for like 40 minutes. How have you not found anything? How did I find the jacket? Some idiots. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Mm -hmm. Oops. Can't even talk to Mike. What about zombie boots? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I'm queuing. Shepherds only. <coughs> Dying. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. We need... It's a big bottle. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. I didn't know the you know, if break. somebody was small enough, they could 
Maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. That's not funny. I don't see why I'm the one that has to crawl into danger every time just because I'm the smallest. No, There's no that background noise. What the fuck? Let's try something else. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock? Oh. Jesus Christ! Something got Hold me! Hold back before Biker! Help me, please! He's coming! Hold on! Well, that happened. You okay, Bonnie? It's just a bump. I'm gonna be all right. Sorry you got banged up. Not sure my face was my best feature anyway. Come on, that's not true. I got these boobies to jiggle. No, I... Oh, you, I... I didn't get bit, just old scars. Hmm. Huh. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> I cannot carry this. <laughs> hey, I got this. Mike's such a big strong man. Oh! Not even breaking a sweat, look at him. That looks pretty heavy. Ah, uh, it's alright. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Mm. Oh, it was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. I'm we'll so glad plan. I wrote the zombie book up to now. Mm. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. I got water down between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! This wind is giving me anxiety. Come on, Listen to that. Close. They just walked on in like it owned the place. It's a cow. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away. I'm on the catch. Where is it? I think it went over there. There he is. He's coming your way. Block him. I would not risk getting bitten by this oh, fucking thing. Uh, shoot. Dang it. Not with the walkers out there. Yeah, that's right. You fuck off. I got my family. I'm than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Mike Come and on. Rebecca's voice Let's acting, Rebecca I don't like. Others. Rebecca is a lot more expressive than Mike, which is great, but waste. oftentimes her voice acting doesn't suit the scenario. Like, with her pace. And her delivery just doesn't suit what she's what her character is physically you're doing. Me your arms ain't Same as tired. Mike. Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh god. Breathe like I told you. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Basically, Clementine getting mad <laughs> at Rebecca because she's not breathing properly. <laughs> Savant predicted it. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? The hell's Luke? Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Rebecca, go, I'm sorry, Kenny, but we're going to have to tree out on our way away. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Mike, the water. Water. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that.
that... that isn't... Let's go, please. I don't think he's okay either. This is bad. Kenny! Well, there's no worse for Damn it. Windhelm. I love that little music chime. as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Uh... Chain? What? Clem, listen. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What do you What's think? Going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Luke, shut up. I didn't. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. What has Kenny done that's been reckless to the group? Literally nothing. He has done nothing wrong to these people this whole time. He's just been a bit mean to them. And, uh, shut the fuck up, Luke. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs! Here, uh, we should. You wanna help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. I'm on the ditch. Too many of them. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Find something to block this gate! Help us! We can block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming. Together! Ready? Oh shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh shit! Oh. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Hurry! I can't hold on! Take my hand! Push! Oh shit. They're climbing up! What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? We need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Crap. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Baby!
baby. We have found the first sacrifice. And we have found the dinner for tonight. Booby, baby, babu. I call my cat Babu sometimes. B A B U. Hey, Babu. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect <laughs> little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. She's pale. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Luke is actually Just gross. Wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Yeah. Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Was so pale, <laughs> baby. There you go. You are natural. Look at you, T like a big <laughs> sister. Here, let me take him. You both should rest, especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine, but <laughs> somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Baby smell. Why do babies have a smell? What is that? Is there a baby smell phenomenon out there? You know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm sure there's a YouTube video about it. I'm gonna look up baby baby smell phenomenon. Baby smell perfume? <laughs> How do you- uh, why do babies smell so good? <laughs> what? My name's Charlotte Legg and I'm a police sergeant. I'm responsible here for a team of police officers and also for a team of horses. Oh. I've probably got one of the most varied roles in the Met. Being a police officer has made me a much more confident person to be part of the Met Police family. It's so much more than a job. It's part of my identity. When... Timon and Mudbill were down in the UK in January with me. We were in London for a couple of days. There were advertisements on the tube for a police officer with the, the salary disclosed on the advertisement. It was like 33 grand or something. And both of them were like, wow, that is so low. I earn way more than that. Because <laughs> they both earn more than that a year with their programming jobs. And goddamn, if that don't speak to the injustice in the world... With fucking the police getting paid dog shit compared to actual just coders and programmers. <laughs> We're watching this video right now. If you've been around a newborn baby, you might have noticed that they smell just good. For a while, lots of people thought this mild, pleasant scent was just baby powder or sweet-smelling wipes. Others claimed it was just a myth, a hallucination by sleep-deprived new parents. But just like new house smell and new car smell, new baby smell is real. But what exactly causes is. this special scent, and why do scientists think it might be an evolutionary benefit for mothers and their babies? Our body odors are made of lots of different secreted chemicals, but it's hard to figure out how each one contributes to our natural smells. And newborn baby smell is extra hard to study because the scent is usually gone after about six weeks. Researchers think one factor could be leftover amnesia. This, this, this man looks like 2007 personified. <laughs> He's handsome though. Amniotic fluid, which is the protective substance that surrounds the embryo as it grows. Plus, there might be traces of vernix caseosa, a whitish layer of waxy oils and cells that coats baby's skin when they're born. But even though we don't know exactly what causes this scent, scientists want to understand why it exists. A 2013 study published in the journal Frontiers in Psychology found evidence that suggests this scent may affect certain brain regions of all women, but especially new mothers. To test this, they rounded up a group of 30 women that were about the same age, 15 who had given birth within the previous 
six weeks, and 15 who had never given birth. The researchers isolated baby smell from baby pajamas, specifically from 18 newborns that weren't related to any of the participants. Then they had the women smell the newborn odors while undergoing brain scans. All of the women showed activity in the reward-related areas of the brain. There was slightly more brain activity in new moms. Basically, the researchers think that the smell might act as a sort of incentive to get the new moms to feel pleasure when they take care of babies. This could promote more maternal care and offset some of the exhaustion and hard work of parenting. But what about new dads? Are they affected by this baby smell too? Well, we still have a lot to learn about the smell of newborn babies. And there haven't been <laughs> any studies involving men yet, although researchers think the effects of baby smell might be similar. Thanks for asking, and thanks especially to our patrons on Patreon who keep these answers coming. If you'd like to submit a question... New baby smell is a thing. I don't mean to examine your newborn child. It smells good, then I must know why. <laughs> okay, well, we learn. We learn nothing, I guess. Apart from Manix Casioni or whatever the fuck she said. Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. I don't blame you. I understand. Good. I was worried this was going to turn into a thing. You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do, like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove, you'll see. Can, can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. I don't know. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. The nail file! Oh my god! Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. <laughs> Me, <laughs> during a house party, waking up in the... <laughs> before everybody else at five in the morning, I'm walking home. That's just a door down there. <laughs> Is Michonne after this? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Luke, you literally just missed her. If you turn around, you'll see her walking away right now. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? Jane left. No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while, you know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Voice down. Damn it! Wait. Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, he's no, right. put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look. I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for one day enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. 
We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait no, a few not, days. Not Luke's right. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Don't look at me like that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, you can fuck off. Sorry. Okay, Bex? It's gonna be alright. Shit yourself. Do it now. <laughs> go, go. Yeah. You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. You can't look at Kenny as if he's to blame. You had to move. It's so stupid. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Keeping people alive. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. That's completely fucking irrelevant, Luke. Uh, uh, Actually, shut up. Oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? How'd a, bunch of, how'd a bunch of Ruskies get down here? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. I don't trust him. Also, he might be mad at us. Everybody keep your eyes open. Hello. You're Clementine. What's going on here, friend? You got people with you? Where are they? You're not out here on your own, are you? It does nothing, that's why I stole. These are my friends. We stay hidden for safety. But you, we know. You're Clementine. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может, у 
What's so funny? Why did they laugh? I told them you are the one who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? If I get excited... Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I don't know what Josh is. I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. But this is how it has to be. I'm gonna be fucking mean to you every second of this way, Arvo. Alright? Eat shit. This can be easy for you. Arvo, skaji shabani apustili arujin. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby! You have a baby with you? When you could niche cover ribbon! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it! I'll do it! No. Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking- don't move! I said don't move! Everybody be cool! This doesn't have to go down like this! Put it cool! Put it cool! Остановись! Опусти оружие! No! <laughs> Oops! Ha! <laughs> Who left Sarah at the park? Most people. Who robbed Ava with the tr- uh, Not a lot of people. Who crawled through? No. It's a straight 50. Split, split. Who held the baby? Most people- Where? What? The- Okay. Come on. I refuse to believe that one out of two people didn't hold the baby. I don't even like kids. I don't like them at all. But you get to hold a baby. Babies are kind of cool sometimes. They just crawl around and cry. That's all I do. I swear more people shot Rebecca. These are fake stats. They're lying. They've, they've just changed over the years, but I accused them of lying. This song is fucking miserable. Oh my god. Devix? I think it's the, the person who made it. I don't remember what the song is called. I just remembered it. I want to go back? Salty Siege by Devix, that's what it's called, I remember that, it's in here. Because I used to listen to it, I used to listen to all of those uh, trailer songs. Uh, uh, the trailer songs and the ending songs are a bunch. But yeah, episode 4. It's good. It's my Episode 4 is my favourite, I believe, out of all of the season 2 runs. Just because it has the most going for it. It feels the most season one-y, but it's also just dramatic, and I like that. Again, the choices don't really matter. Like, if you steal from Marvel or not, you still get ambushed. Regardless, nothing changes. I don't like that. It's lazy. But season two is just a lot more linear. Like, season one is linear as well, but see, it hides it a bit better. Whereas season two is just completely just railroady. Where, and it's not as organic as it is as it's presented in season two. Luke can go suck it. He's fucking annoying. I liked him at first, but like now I'm I don't. Um, but yeah, do you want to do <laughs> episode five? It's gonna be another like hour and a half, maybe two hours. Yeah, not a good way to go though. Bless him. Okay, but if you leave me midway through this, I'm gonna cry. Nah, it's fine. If you if you have to go or whatever, that's absolutely fine. I think I want to just get this over and done with, so that my night of misery is over. And then we don't have to play this fucking game again. <laughs> Hi Hans, I forgot you were still here. Bless you. Um... Well, I'll end the stream, and I'll start streaming immediately, and we'll we'll just... We'll we'll lock it out. We'll we'll get it done now. Oh fuck! I don't want to do this. <laughs>
I'll see you guys in like a minute.